Lots of pulsing going on here. Hey guys, what's up? Happy Sunday. Duff here. I told you I had one more idea that I wanted to see if I could get done on the uh, on the new one-wheel GT this weekend. And I've arrived at my destination. I don't know if you can tell what it is by looking behind me. It might look familiar. I am at the Indian Hill area in Marco Island. Last time I was here, I had the um, Emotion V11 and the Emotion V12, and I did a hill test with those, both those wheels. This is, this is probably the steepest hill, hill in my area that I'm aware of. It's called Indian Hill. You know, it's not, it's not miles long, but it is steep for sure. And I took both the V11 and the V12 uh, back and forth over the hill. It goes up and down, um, back and forth 10 times. So for a total of 20 hills. And then I measured uh, the temperature change with those wheels. So now I have the one wheel GT here and the XR. I want to do a head to head test with those two wheels and see how they feel uh, going up this hill as well. As well as um, I believe, I believe I'm able to re temperature on these boards, I think. So I will, um, if I can, I will be tracking the difference in uh, temperature gain with both boards as well. So that's the plan. That's what we're doing. I don't know if you noticed, I, I finally got new elbow pads. I've had those STX lacrosse elbow pads forever, probably for five years plus. They were stretched out, uh, worn, worn out. These are now Liat um, elbow guards. They feel, uh, they feel good. They feel snug. I feel like they should uh, protect my elbow pretty well because you got not only the, the corner but also the forearm as well because this is the area right here is the area where I have the, the nasty brush burn uh, from that fall. So hopefully it's an upgrade to my safety equipment. All right, so we're going to do the XR first. Uh, I've charged both of these boards to 100% prior to coming here. Added some air to the uh, XR tire. Uh, the XR is in delirium mode. And what I'm going to do... Um, is I'm going to go down around and then the base of the hill is over there So I burn up a little better battery because you know, we don't want to get it, go into an overcharge situation. So that's the plan Let's uh, let's get this thing going Okay on the diagnostic screen. There is um, three temperatures available actually battery temperature controller temperature and motor temperature So that's that's cool out and rolling on the XR Man this feels different than the uh, GT you know, with the tire on an XR, oh man. Also, just FYI, I noticed um, in that diagnostic screen, it talks about the, uh, the voltage of the battery, because this is 100%. I think it said the voltage, our starting voltage was 62 degree, or 62 volts. Um, when you compare that to the GT, the uh, GT fully charged is like 76 volts, right? Is it 76.5, I think, something like that. So there is a significant uh, voltage difference between the uh, XR platform and the GT as well. Now I have actually had my one wheels down here once before, a couple years ago. Um, I, I brought my one wheel pint and the XR down here to Indian Hill just to see if they could climb it. And they both did. The, uh, the pint uh, struggled a little bit. You could hear the magnets kind of slipping on the pint. XR didn't have a big problem, but that was only like a once, once back and forth. So going back and forth uh, 10 times, uh, that's, that's a little bit more of a story. So I'm gonna quick ride up to the to the crest here, set down the GoPro 8 just to film my back and forth passes, and then we will uh, get this show on the road. All right, so let's let's get our starting temperatures now, now that I've done that. Oh wow, okay, the battery, 87.8. Controller has gone up, 107.6. Motor is now up to 86 degrees Fahrenheit. That is our starting point, and we are beginning lap one of ten and this is going to be just non-stop and it's kind of a little bit of a torture test crest the hill go down turn around do it again i'm going to be rolling the entire time and we'll just we'll just speed things up another nice benefit of this is this is going to allow me to have a very 
direct comparison between how the XR feels going up this hill and the, um, the GT. Like I just felt a little bit of a battery slip, or not a motor slip there. Slipped just a little bit as I got to the top. And we got a tortoise right there. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Careful. This is, this is a very heavily uh, tortoise populated area. Now I'm being very cautious on the GT. Went very slowly down that hill, but we're going right back up. Yeah, especially when I'm de uh, descending hills, I'm not really sure you know, I, I, I don't know that if this is going to push the XR to a, a limit here, so I'm being careful. But I might try to push it a little bit more with my speed going up. This is lap two. Got some surging in the motor, a little bit. <clears throat> My riding weight is uh, around 190 pounds. Looks like a guy going for a joy ride in his Jaguar. Trip number three. bit of a slip again this this side here is the steeper side it's shorter but it's steeper definitely steeper I have a feeling this thing is gonna be quite toasty by the time we're done here if we get done slipping Slipping, yeah, it's, it's pulsing as we're going up here. It seems like each time up and back, it's uh, I'm, I'm getting more of the pulsing. All right, we're going right into number four. Pulsing, 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 nose going up. Yeah, each, each time it pulses, I can feel the, the, uh, the nose going up a little bit. Seems pretty controlled going downhill at least. Okay, beginning ascent number five. A little bit of pulsing at the top. Yeah, you know, the the uh, angle on the on this part of the hill is really making the board work. All right, pulsing already. Pulse, 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 pulse. halfway there a little nervous here we go number six there's right there's where you get the pulse on that side lots of pulsing going on here But it made it. Yeah, I've never felt my XR pulse uh, except on.
Hi guys. Sitting here uh, a little bloodied. Got to test out the uh, elbow pads, knee pads. Yeah, it uh, it pulsed right into a, a cutout right here. Um, my road wireless go is screwed up. Well, the clip is broken to hold it on. The door hinge for my GoPro mount is broken. Landed on the hip again too. And I have and I have the um, the freaking padded shorts at home. I didn't wear them. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, so seven and a half. The XR quit in a major way and dumped me. All right, let's see if I can find any more broken parts here. Just did a quick uh, check here. And of course the temperatures are probably going down a little bit. Batteries up to 111, controller up to 123, and the motor up to 122 degrees. So yeah, things got toasty there. Man, that's annoying. Oh, the XR let me nosedive. That's the first time I've ever nosedived on a one wheel. Not a great time to, not a great time to do it. All right, so a more sane person would say, okay, we'll just screw it, man. Now you got more bruises and brush burn to deal with. Just called a day and uh, screw, screw testing the GT, but and damaged my equipment. I'm gonna have to see if I can rig, somehow rig <sighs> the road wireless go to get back on there. Bad XR, bad XR, you let me down, bad boy. Okay, I have this thing rigged. <laughs> I have it rigged uh, with some, some Velcro that I had in my uh, glove compartment for something else. I have the Road Wireless Go transmitter half-ass stuck to the top, um, but it covers the, the, the power button or the, the shoot button. So I'm just going to um, leave it running the whole time and edit it later. I am again burning off some battery here. Uh, I don't know. I thought the XR would be able to do that. I don't, I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know. But now the question is, can the GT do it? If I see lots of pulsing or if I feel lots of pulsing going on with the GT, guess what? Uh, I'm getting off the thing. I'm not, I'm not going down a third time in uh, several days. GT is in uh, high line mode. Just doing a little battery burn off and then we're gonna go to the base of the hill, get an initial temperature check and try this stupid test again. So if the GT can actually do this, that would be quite the gold star. Definitely would be a gold star. Starting battery 98%. Battery temperature 87 degrees. There's a lot less diagnostics on this on this board. 100 degrees for the oh God. It's hard to read. 100 degrees for the controller. 95 degrees for the motor. There's our start point. All right, here we go. Round one. And as soon as I feel a pulse, I'm going to be freaking freaked out, man. Although I mean, the XR was pulsing for a long time. It was, I guess it was trying to warn me. GT is supposed to be a torque beast. This uh, test is all about torque, so it definitely seemed uh, pretty easy going up that hill there. But this is this is the side that is um, the real test. This is where the rubber meets the road. If you guys happen to see a a pin for the hinge of my transmitter. Okay, on, on that first ascent, I did not feel any slippage of the motor. Whereas with the GT, I believe I did feel that right away, right at the very top. Hi, buddy. Everybody loves crashes, right? They're fun to watch. They're not fun to be in, though. At least not at 54 years old. Okay, number two, here we go. I 
climbing it, I don't know that you can get a real appreciation for the degree of angle of this hill with a action camera, but it's pretty steep. Pretty darn steep. Okay, number two ascent is good. The other nice thing, I didn't really think about it with the GT, that is actually a nice feature doing this kind of test is that, that warning test, or I'm sorry, the warning beep that they have where you're overworking the motor. I would assume if I, if I get close to a state where I'm overpowering the motor, I'm gonna hear that beep. And that will be a uh, test over kind of sound, like if I would <laughs> hear that a lot. But I have not heard it yet. Number three. And I'm not trying to power, I could, I could lean into this and go faster. I don't need to do that. I just needed to survive this test. I'm just looking for survival. For both the board and myself. I guess I should make sure we're still filming, right? Can't even see. Shit. No. Yes, we are. Okay. Uh, this is number four. Number four. Got to remember to clean up this bloody finger. Don't let me. Don't let me forget. Number five. If I remember correctly, if you add up all the back and forth, because I did this on the EUC, I thought it was. It was like something like two and a half miles of hills, I believe. I have to look back, but it, this is this is not a, a joke of a test, guys. Definitely not a joke. I didn't mention the air temperature. The air temperature is probably mid 80s today, so it's uh, it's on the warm side. Six, trip back and forth number six. We are over halfway through. Okay. Trip number seven, this is where the XR failed. Although it was giving, uh, it was giving clues it was going to fail <laughs> uh, way in advance of this. All right, it's officially surpassed what the XR did. We're on the downside of Back and forth, number seven. Come on, GT. Let's do the full 20. You can do it. I know you can. Number eight. I am curious what the temperature is going to read at the end of this. Probably pretty toasty. So I don't believe there's any fans inside of a, a one wheel, right? All right. That was my first. I felt a tiny little surge right there. Tiny. It was small, but it was definitely a surge. 
Come on, man. Two laps to go. You can do it. I am <laughs> trying to mentally prepare myself for a cutout. I've never, I've never run out a, a, a dump on a one wheel very well, so. This is number nine, guys. Still no uh, overpowering. Oh, wait, what was that? I just heard a sound now. I'm worried that was the board beeping. I don't think it was, but I did hear a sound. Yep. Okay, up and over number nine. I'm genuinely nervous here, guys. <laughs> I'm nervous. We're so close. We got one more stinking lap to do. Let's go. This is it. Last lap, number 10. And of course, we have a car coming behind us on the last lap. Perfect timing. Perfecto. All right, one more, one more hill to climb. Come on. Only have felt one baby surge. All these climbs. Here we go. So maybe another little baby right there. But we are at the crest. Yes, yes, yes. GT survives. The GT survives. And we'll do a little half hill climb back to the car. The hard work's over, buddy. You did it. Good job. Good job. But I do want to see the numbers for sure on this. I do want it to shut off. There we go. Whew. Well. Come on. Let's see the temperatures. They're probably toasty. Okay, battery 102, controller 126. The motor up to 158 degrees. Yeah, motor is getting hot. 158, that's up there. But it survived. No, no um, overpower beeps. Um, wow, that's, uh, that's great, man. If you ever need to um, illustrate to someone the difference between a GT and an XR, uh, yeah, just, just remember this video. The XR left me bloodied with damaged equipment and the, uh, the GT did it. Bloodied. Sorry guys, gotta leave this rolling. I'm gonna have to be doing a lot of editing because of the half half way I had the camera put together. Got to get some replacement camera parts. So the, this protected my elbow, but then I guess I rolled onto that side. Of course, the one spot that is not protected. So I got another brush burn there. Just what I needed. One set of brush burns is not enough. Can I get this off without destroying the bandages underneath? Ow. Okay. That's not too bad. I mean, uh, it did its job. It did its job to protect it from impact, I think. So I'm glad I had these on as opposed to the uh, STX. But I can feel my, my freaking hips hurts again. I can't believe that I got, I had the new pants. I had them and I didn't, and I didn't, put them on because I'm like, I don't know, for some reason I, I falling doing this uh, didn't seem like uh, within the realm of possibilities, but obviously I was wrong. Good job. Kick some major ass. Kick some major ass. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up. 
Uh, if you found this video, ouch. Ow. If you found this video interesting, please give it a big thumbs up. Uh, educational, uh, hilarious, stupid, whatever. Give it a thumbs up anyways. If this is your first time visiting the channel, please consider subscribing. You can hit the subscribe bell down there. Um, and uh, if you're gonna subscribe, you can always think about hitting the notify bell to get notified of all uh, future uploads, live streams, all that kind of stuff. Feel free to leave your comments, suggestions, ideas, and thoughts below. What do you think of the results of that test? That showed that the GT uh, torque definitely comes into play doing a, a, a torture test like that, for sure, uh, in a major way. Duffman out, this is the last day, this is, well, Duffman's not out yet, hold on. This is the last day of my staycation. It's been like, it's been nine days, yeah, nine days of, uh, of fun, lots of uh, GT time. It's been great, hope to do it again sometime. And thank you for coming along with me. Up oh, one more thing, big thanks to members. Thanks to uh, members like these people, help support the channel, they'll help me pay for the uh, equipment that I have to replace now. <laughs> It's always, it's always helpful. So if you're interested in membership, you can hit the join button down below. Okay, now that's all I have for now. Till next time, duck me now. XR, you let me down. Literally.